I'm Shannon from Shannon Talks Yarn, and I do not need to buy any yarn for a while. I just got back from my second Hobby Lobby trip. Um, the first one was at a town about an hour south of me. It is not what I refer to as my Hobby Lobby. Um, and then today I went to one that's about an hour north from me, which is my Hobby Lobby. So. I have a massive haul, and if you're interested in looking at this, um, please stick around. So this year I went into it a little bit different. I've, um, I guess you could say I've been participating in the annual clearance um, of yarn for the past few years. Um, and what I did differently is I kind of went into it being 100% selfish and um, picked out yarns that, just for me, just that I absolutely loved. So um, I had a couple large gift certificates that I had been hanging on to for quite a while that were um, from different gifts I had received. So that is why um, I purchased most of this and I did have to kick in a little bit of my own money, but it wasn't very much. So super awesome. Um, it was hard to hold on to those and not spend them, but I'm really glad I did. In my second trip, um, the one that I made today, I was able to pick up a few, um, how do I want to say this, uh, identical skeins to ones that I had picked up on my first trip. So at first I thought about like totally pulling all this stuff out and going through it and setting it up, but I'm like, you know what, we'll just kind of go chronological order. That way, if it looks like I'm having to split this up into two different videos, I can, you know, just with the two different towns. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first couple things I got are not yarn. So I did get this yarn dispenser. Normal price was $12.99 and I got it for $3.24. So I have seen these before called a yarn butler, um, but this portion spins like you stick the yarn down on it and set this on your table and it should do that. I'm wondering if this would also work um, with my um, yarn baller, whatever that thing's called. <laughs> like for yarns that aren't Hanks that wouldn't go on the Swift. I don't know. But I thought for $3.24, it was definitely, you know, worth trying out. And then I did get these three project bags right here. Um, there will be crinkly noises in this video too. So um, just three, this little one, and then two identical ones uh, right here, yarn and things. So, um, you know, for the price you would get at Dollar Tree, I thought it was definitely worth it. So. On to the yarn. I'm going to go ahead and start with the only yarn out of these two trips that I'm confused why I bought. I don't know if you've ever <laughs> been in that position where um, it's like it made sense at the time, but then afterwards I'm like, hmm. Like it is, it's like I don't even really have anything in the same color palette. So um, I should preface this by saying when I got to this store, it was a Saturday morning. They had been open about an hour and the store itself was cram packed, but the yarn department wasn't. But the clearance yarn was, I would say, more than half gone. Um, it was definitely, definitely, definitely picked over. So there was zero hanks, there was zero baby yarn, um, and there was zero cotton. <laughs> there was pretty much mostly only chunky yarns. I did get a few that weren't, but for the most part, it was just chunky. Um, no one was in the aisles. The only couple people that came in were there and they picked up like one skein of yarn. Who buys one skein of yarn during a clearance sale? I don't know, but some people were. <laughs> so anyway, it was, it was just different. Like I said, it's not my store. Their layout's a little different than I'm used to. Um, so maybe that's why I was off my game. Um, but I picked up these two firesides, you know, which is like Hobby Lobby's answer to homespun. And I like homespun. And um, I think this blue is really pretty. It is called 06. I think it's called 06. <laughs> oh, no, it's called Niagara. Sorry, it's called Niagara. Um, but it's very pretty. 
but I'm like, why did I pick this up? So I feel like maybe this will end up turning into a scarf for someone. I don't know. Like, I know I picked it up. It's not like somebody else accidentally put it in my cart. I definitely picked it up because I was like, oh, okay. I have no idea why. So this has seen better days. <laughs> this is the Must Be Merino Aaron in teal. And I hope somebody didn't buy it and start it out and wind it back up. But if they did, whatevs. I bought it anyway because it is Merino, or I think it's a Merino blend. Yeah, it's, it's a Merino acrylic and nylon blend. But I'm like, it's $1.74 in Merino. So you're, and it's a color I like. So it was coming home with me. And then this was the only Stitch 101 50 50 that they had. And this color is Aquamarine. Very pretty and shiny. I got some like rosy colored ones at the last sale. I have yet to use this. Um, but I have gotten into some smaller weight yarns and it's very pretty and I think it would be very drapey and you can see how shiny it is. So that, and then these two were loners as well, but, um, I did find some more of this today. So I just have one clay. I just thought that was a pretty color. And then one here in mauve. This is the deep breathe, breathe deep. This is what this hat is made out of. So it is a chain spun polyester. It is crazy soft. Um, it's kind of like a, like some baby yarn is made out of this. Bernat, cuddle up possibly, I don't know. Uh, bundle up, I'm not sure, but it's very, very soft. And um, I love this stuff. So when they seem to be clearancing out certain colorways every year, I just pick them up because it is great for hats. And you could definitely do baby stuff out of them. And for 99 cents, you cannot beat that. Okay, so I am very excited about this um, particular one right here. So this is the color Sienna, and I thought it was very, very pretty. So um, this is Soft Secret, and it is kind of Hobby Lobby's answer to Karen Simply Soft. But it actually looks like it's wound a little bit I don't know, maybe tighter, you could say, than the Simply Soft. So I'm hoping it won't be quite as splitty. Who knows? Um, but I, so I got all they had, and I think I got four of them. But I was able to pick up more today. So I'm not sure I grabbed all of them that they had. Because one of the things that I want to focus on this year is doing more wearables for myself. I think my family is getting a little bit tired of always getting gifts <laughs> from my heart. So like I said, I picked out colors I love um, and textures I love. And I, I'm i just, maybe this is just a Shannon or a crochet. We'll see how it goes. But um, I'm going to leave these set aside so I can find out how many total I've got. Um, you know, this is 100% acrylic and there is 300 yards. So... 1200 yards like so. I said a lot of stuff they had was just all the chunky um this particular town um that I went to first they actually do have an LYS there and I haven't been there I would like to go there I looked on the website and it's definitely kind of above my normal budget um but I do plan on going sometime but I just don't know if maybe the yarn crowd in that town um you know like I said every single hank was gone um, maybe they just have a little bit different tastes that tend to gravitate more to the thinner yarns. But the next yarn I got, which I think is a great value here, um, this was 212 and it's Reclaim. It is 125 yards. It's, you know, it's a recycled yarn, acrylic polyester blend. And they are saying that it is a six weight. So, um, kind of like your... Is it hometown? Um, it's kind of what I would say that is like, maybe a little bit thinner, but. So I did get one in the color Sage. Again, that was a singleton. And then um, the color Fog. Again, that was the only one. And then I got two of these in the color Rust. I thought those were real pretty as well. And then I got three 
in this color, which is, come on, taupe. So I did really like that as well. Um, because I think that is a great value. I know there isn't a ton of yardage, but with this thickness, I think that'll go pretty far. And if I mix and match them, um, which I could easily do, I think that would work out great. So this next one was also a single, the Cotton XXL, and this is the color Cognac. Um, again, it was the only one there. I did grab it, but I think I was able to pick one up today. We'll have to double check, but I think I was. Maybe I'll put that in my pile to go over there. So the next one is the Lazy Days, and I loved this color. It is clay. And I did post this to my Instagram. And if you're on Instagram and you'd like to keep up with me over there, I I don't know, it's different. You know, it's just different. So I kind of like to do more behind the scenes type of stuff. Like, anyway, it doesn't matter. We can go over that a different time. Um, but I have never worked with this yarn. Um, it's like a chain spun and it is like the squishiest. I am very excited to use this and I already know what I'm going to use it for. So if you saw a video I did maybe a month or so ago and it was a stash busting video and I had a ruffle scarf in there from Mama in a Stitch. I did mine with a latte cake but um, it was supposed to be something, it was supposed to be a little bit different yarn. So I am going to make myself that, um, that same ruffle scarf. Um, out of this and I think I'll love it and I will link that video up here um, if you want to watch that um, this next one I also thought was a really really good deal so this is soft and sleek super bulky so it is a low pill like that's soft and sleek is low pill um, but this is um, it's got to be a six Yep, it's a six weight. It's normally 10 bucks, or or if you get it on a 30% off, it's seven, but I got it for 249, and there's 70 yards in it, and um, I'm very excited. Like this or that, what was it called, Reclaim, but maybe this I might be more excited about because it's low pill. So I got one, two, three of this cream color. And I am kind of hoping that between the different colors I got, I could do a cardigan for myself. So I'm not really sure if you have a suggestion for like a heavyweight um, pattern that uses a six. Um, let me know. I would love to know that. Um, so this color is bruschetta. Bruschetta? If you're Italian, let me know in the comments because... I think that's like something people get annoyed about when you pronounce wrong. Um, so three of those. And it's like a clay color. It's like a really pretty clay color. And then, hmm, I was actually able to get four of these. I'm kind of surprised. I thought I had three. There must have been four. And my thought probably was just grab the extra one because, you know, somebody might not you know, what are you going to do with one? Make a hat. But, um, so this color is tobacco. So kind of like a brownish, goldish color. So like I said, four of those. And I only have one more bag from this particular um, store. Uh, there, I've forgotten about this. There was this random soft secret that was there. And I don't think I mentioned it when I had the other one. Um, but... These, are a, these were $1.39, and I absolutely love this color. It's burgundy. I love burgundy. I love fall colors. I love jewel tones. Um, so I wish there would have been more, but I thought I could make myself a hat out of this. So that is why I got that one. And then I got three of these right here. So this is Lion Brand Woolies Wow, and I've seen these at Joann's before. I think the lowest I saw them for was like upper $5, $6 maybe. And that was like a good sale. So this is the color blush and um, I paid $2.74. So it was a little more expensive. 
um, and there's 66 yards and I got three of them. Okay, so like I said, here's where things get a little more exciting. I actually had not planned on getting, a, like going out of the house today. I do that a lot. So I had today off and um, my husband had mentioned, hey, why don't we go up to this town? Um, there are some places he could go, like Menards and Fleet Farm. He's like, and I can drop you off at Hobby Lobby and you can check to see if there's any sales. And, you know, I was feeling pretty good about the haul I had and I was feeling satisfied. I thought, you know, um, I was, I had that FOMO, like fear of missing out for a while until I, you know, got that stuff. But it was kind of like, leftover -y type stuff and while I really liked it I wouldn't have bought any of it if I didn't like it still confused about the fireside but <laughs> um so you know I was like eh I don't know he said this last night and I was like well let's just wait till the morning and we can decide and I am so flipping glad that um he had offered um for us to go up there and everything and because this store, it was like they had just gotten their stuff marked down. Um, I mean, there was a few um, like holes in the displays where someone had come and like gotten out. So I should say most of the Hanks were taken. There was a handful of Hanks that weren't marked down. Um, and there was some that were there, but none of them spoke to me. And I was kind of disappointed about that because since I got that Swift for Christmas, I've been like waiting to get some Hanks. When I did the um, fluffy butt yarns, um, the alpaca, I did not have a Swift. So I was like unrolling them all. I'm sure there was a better way. I've seen now on Instagram where you can like put them on two chairs and spread it out and just roll it up into a ball. Wish I would have known that. Um, I will link the fluffy butt um, playlist up here and I'll put it down in the description if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you want to know. But like I said, this was very exciting today uh, because there was so much and it was like stuff that was um, things that I was really, really interested in. And I am definitely really interested in this. It's just this other stuff was like what I had to pick from from the leftovers. So this was like first pick. So I was able to get another one of the must be merinos in teal. So and this one has not been wound up. So. Um, I was excited about that. And then I also got um, another one of the Stitch 101 5050s in Aquamarine. I did, there was more of these, but I just thought that two would be plenty for me um, to give a shot. I mean, there isn't a ton of yards in these. There's 180 so um, I'm not sure what I'll do, but I know that I have some like grays and blacks in this too. So if I mix that, I mean, I think this aquamarine and a black would look kind of cool in a shawl. So we'll see, but I was able to get a second one of that. And then I'm trying to decide if I should show you the random stuff first. I'll show you the random stuff first. Um, so here was... And I love this cotton, and there really wasn't much for this marked down. Um, like, it's not like I missed it, I don't think. I just think they didn't mark a lot down. Let me know in the comments if you got some I love this cotton in this sale. So it was 99 cents, and you just cannot pass that up. It's nice cotton, too. Um, this is the color pistachio. There was a bunch of them. I like this color, but I'm not like gaga for this color. But for 99 cents, I definitely liked it enough to pick up one. I'm working on some different like bags at the moment. And I like pairing cotton with acrylic because oftentimes I feel like the acrylic stretches in a bag. So that is why I did pick that up. And then they had this uh, Scrubology cotton um, in red. So I have used some of this before, not the Scrubology, but the Scrubby, Red Heart Scrubby, and I like it just fine. I paired it with a cotton. It was in a video that I did with Kristen Crochets. I don't know how many times I say I'll link it, so um, YouTube only lets you 
link for videos up here. <laughs> so if I have hit my max at some point, I will have all the videos I referenced down in the description box. But Kristen sent me um, the Red Heart Scrubby like this and I liked it. So um, I picked this up because I have every intention of doing some Christmas kitchen projects for people this year. So I thought that was good. The other colors didn't really speak to me, so I only grabbed the one because this goes a long, long way when you're pairing it with a cotton. Speaking of which, they did have this for $1.24. You know, it's normally five bucks. The Sugar and Cream Scrub Off, and um, I have not used this before. It does have, it's cotton, but it already has the scrubby in there. So cheaper than Dollar Tree. You know, I always say that. Um, but I thought I will get the Christmas and they had several other colors of it too. I actually had for a while in my cart, a gray one, well, two gray ones. And then I had one that was like a bright pink and, a, and teal. And then I put those back just because I thought, you know what, just stick with you, you know, what, you know, what is going to work. And then this little guy I picked up. So this was $1.24 and it's the Premier Cotton Collage in the color Sunshine Multi. And I thought that was super pretty. If there was more of this, I would have bought it. They had quite a few sock yarns um, and they had more of the Cotton Collage, but none in this particular color. So, um, it is 246 yards and I will end up pairing this with something. I am not sure what I will pair it with yet, but it kind of reminded me of that yarn I got at Joann's. Is it called Party? Was it called Party? Um, and the one I got was called Candy. I think that's what it is, where it's just these real pretty um, like candy colors. So... I don't know. We'll see if I can find a way because I had thought about taking that yarn and pairing it with a gray. But if I held this with the gray, that would be super fun, too. But it's very, very squishy. Um, and I just thought that would be fun. So here was like this isn't like monetarily my biggest score or anything like this, but it is the rest of that soft secret that I got in the color Sienna. So I love it. So I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like they have seven. And then what did I have over here? Let me check. So 11 of those in total. I am super psyched about that. Um, I would love to end up making myself, I think, a cardigan out of this. And I would think with 11 of these skeins that I should be able to. So yeah, I am so excited. So I went into this wanting to find cotton and I was so excited that they had a bunch of cotton and it was also colors that I loved. Like to me, these are very boho colors, which I know I just said I loved all the jewel tones, but I also love these. So um, I did get one of the, what is it here? Fern in Pima Suprema. I thought that was very pretty. And all of these have 180 yards. So um, one in the dark or the darker green color. And then I got two in copper. So I thought that was very pretty. Two in salmon. And I left a lot of these on the shelf, like a lot. So while I loved these, I was like, you know, how many pink yarns can I have? Like, because I bought a lot of pink yarns. So then I did get five of these Lagoons, um, which is kind of like a boho aqua teal color. I absolutely love this. And for some reason, like people must not have in my area because there was, a, I probably left more on the shelf than I took with me. So I am super psyched about all of these. And again, I don't know if I will add these to bags or if I will make something on their own. It's, uh, that is to be determined, but I do know I, I like keep saying like, oh, I'm the most excited about this thing or that thing, but I'm really excited about this. So, um, sorry, I'm gonna be kind of leaning over here for a second. I apologize, but um, they had sugar wheel cottons. <laughs> I'm so excited about this because these babies um, have, this one's 
the label is a little worse for wear, but it's 335 yards. And this stuff is soft. Like it is soft. I love it. Love it. Um, I've been able to get a couple other ones of these in the past, but they were like charcoal color, which is cool. Obviously, <laughs> I'm fine with the, you know, those colors, but um, these are just like a beautiful, beautiful color. So this is Lagoon and I did get two Lagoon. I wish there would have been more of this. I would have bought in all of them. <laughs> this is the color Merlot. And again, love it. Um, like I said, would have bought more if it was available. I know I'm kind of like leaning all over here, so sorry about that. Um, I got three of these nutmegs, which is such a beautiful color. So kind of like a rose, I would say, like a rose. Love it. And then there was, what did I get? One of these in linen. So I just thought that would be like a nice utility. I don't mean utility, like I'm not gonna make a dishcloth out of it, but just something basic. And then there's soft gardenia. So you can see the difference here. The gardenia is definitely white compared to the off-white. I could not be more excited. <laughs> there I go again. Um, what is this? Muted sage, very pretty green color. So I got two of those and then I did get one of these overcast. They had a bunch of the overcast, but I really stayed pretty clear of the grays this time. Like I like gray, but um, I feel like that's what I've gotten more of in the past. So um, I just held off and got the colors that I was like, yes, I want to make myself something out of this. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a mishmash of things. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to start out with, but my store had more of the um, Breathe Deep. And so I have gotten this, I think I got some last year or in the Dye Lot sale in Sage. So I was excited about that. And then they had it in Spa. And did I get another one? No, I did not. But... They had a pink, which I had bought in the past. I have a pink hat just like this. And then they had a bright white, which I just did. Like, it would have been fantastic if you were doing some baby stuff, but I just didn't think I would in the near future. Watch, no, somebody will need a baby thing. <laughs> but um, so anyway, I did get these and, um, you know, they'll probably end up being more hats. So I was able to find another one of these cotton XXLs in cognac. So, um there's not a ton there's 50 yards in here so I thought the second one would definitely help me out um this was totally random this was the other um I love this cotton that they had and this is the color coral but again 99 cents and um like I said uh I don't actually it is pretty um I don't know if this was the this might have been the only one they had in coral possibly because I feel like I would have bought more of this if they would have had it but that is how it goes. I did get these um, stitch markers. This was over in like the jewelry clearance area. They're not called stitch markers. They are called plastic clips. But for 99 cents, I feel like I lose these suckers all the time. So I thought I would definitely do that. Then I got two, maybe I'll grab the other one. It's in better condition or not. <laughs> Two soft and sleeks, the low pill, and this is the color ivory stripe. And I just thought it was very pretty. It's very neutral, very simple. This was the only two soft and sleeks that were there. So I don't know if there was other ones that um, had already been purchased or not, um, but there was two. One was like up high and one was down low, so I grabbed them both. And then I got two of these Yarntopias, and I was kind of on the fence with these. So I got the color, it's probably brick, it looks like, you know, it was colored spice. I think it's pretty, I love it. Um, 
it is very fine, it feels like. So it is 100% acetate. It is a little over 300 yards, and I think they have it marked as a two weight. So it is pretty small there. Some of the other colors, there was only two of these. So I grabbed both of these, and this was actually only a dollar 12. Like that's an amazing, amazing price. So I am very much wanting to make a shawl for myself out of these two because I think I would really enjoy it. Um, the other colors just like weren't totally speaking to me, but you know, and it was one of those where I really was like trying to talk to myself, like, don't just buy it cause it's cheap. So, you know, buy it because you love it. So there was two of these Chloe's. So I know I had watched a video by Claire at Woodshed Theory and she was freaking out because she was able to score some Chloe's, which she hadn't ever done in the past. Um, my store had this one, Pastel Prairie. And then there was one that said, I think it was Bisque. And then there, there was two of the Bisque ones. And then there was one where I think it had some blues in it. And that was all the Chloe my store had left. Um, I have worked with this in the past. Um, the one I have worked with is a lavender color and I made a bag. I paired it with some white cotton. Leah from Leah Crochets and I did a Chloe bag challenge. So I will link them. Like I said, if I can't do it up here, I will have it down in the description box if you wanna see um, our collab with the bags we made. Um, but I thought this was the prettiest of the three colors that were there. It appealed to me the most. Um, and I want to make a shawl out of these as well. And then I got these chenille appeals. So I have been wanting to try these for quite some time. And again, like I said, I don't know if I just got there, like if this sale, like the markdowns only were, you know, like yesterday and Saturday, I don't know, but there was so much left. This is the color taupe, I believe. Nope. It is stucco but I really like that color. It's pretty fine. I just says it's a four weight, but you know, to be determined. Um, but I got three of these. There were a bunch there and I did leave a ton of them and a ton of colors. Cause you know, I did get that other lion brand one, um, in that kind of buffy pottery color. I don't remember what it was called. Um, and I didn't want to go nuts. I already felt like I was going nuts a little bit. And since I would classify this as more of like a chenille, um, well, it says chenille appeal, but like more, I don't want to say novelty yarn, but kind of, um, I did just go with the color that um, appealed to me the most. So when I was at that first store in the first town, um, it was a Saturday morning. And like I said, the yarn department was not busy, but the, um, the store itself was. And it was weird, like the layout seemed weird compared to my normal store. And I do remember ages and ages ago, um, this particular area, it did used to be like a Target where that Hobby Lobby was. And then they came in and kind of like, you know, changed it and do what they did. <laughs> so I don't know if that's part of the reason, but it's like you walk in the doors, like the in and out are right next to each other. At my normal store, they're separated, but they're right next to each other. And then you're flanked by checkouts. There's like a super wide aisle and you're flanked by checkouts where in my normal one, you walk up, all of the checkouts are to your left, you know, and then it starts with like, like right now it would be the Easter stuff right there. So, um, just different. And when I went to check out on that first one, so of course I have a cart load full. And I was also kind of shopping via the phone for my friend, like sending her pictures and stuff. So I had to do two transactions. Yeah, and there were so many people and I was getting like so hot. And I had a hat on, so I couldn't take it off because I had like sweaty hat head at this point. And I'm just like, almost like beads of sweat coming down because there's so many people behind me and everybody was very patient, but I did hear little comments and little words like yarn and I was the only one buying yarn. So I don't know, whatever. That's, you gotta be fine looking like you're a crazy person when you take advantage of this sale. So. Um, when I checked out today with this yarn, it was not near as hectic. Like there was a fair amount of wait time to get up there, but 
I don't even think anybody was behind me or there was one person that came up, but it wasn't terrible. So anyway, let's get started with this very last bag. All right, so I got four of the, Rom I think you pronounce it Romantique. Um, it's like the Huga yarn. So I got four of these and um, they were $1.37. It's only 83 yards, um, but you can totally make like a beanie out of less than one of these um, because I did that with the brown one. Um, so, I mean, that's totally doable, but I, again, I'm concentrating on apparel for myself and I absolutely love this. I love working with it. It feels so good when you're working with it. Um, this is the color clay. So I feel like there's like definite, um, what do I wanna say, like color family going on here this year, but um, I guess that probably means that they're going with whole different color families for next season's yarn. So I, sorry, I got sidetracked there. I talked with the store manager on the way out to um, my car and um, she said that at least in their store anyway, there was several departments that were getting smaller, but yarn was not one of them because it's such a high seller there. But that aisle with a lot of the um, kits in it, that's like next, to, like you have the notions like the crochet hooks and knitting needles and all that. And on the other side of that is all the needle point kits. She said she thought all of those were going because they, she said they just don't sell. So that was the latest I heard. So hopefully that's kind of like less scary than, you know, some of the other rumors. Okay. I did buy another chenille appeal. <laughs> yes, I did forget about it, but uh, I also love it. So this is the color rose taupe. It is kind of like a dusty purple color. So in love with this, glad I picked it up, even though I had forgotten about it. Um, and I had three of those. Um, and then I got, I was able to find three more of these Breathe Deeps in the color Moth. So if you remember from the first store I went to, I was able to find one of them, um, but I did get three more. So very excited about the that. The last um, things I got is this Cotton et Lin. So I believe it's Cotton and Linen, yes cotton and linen and again um, I thought this would be good for possibly some bag making but who knows um, I got the color rouge which is like that dusty pink color and then the color chintz I believe that is like a type of fabric like a shiny satiny type of fabric maybe I don't know let me know if you know down in the comments um, it's like a like a stony gray type of color. I had so much fun shopping for this and um, I'm extremely grateful for all of the gift cards I had gotten from family members over the holidays. So this was super awesome and I liked not spending a lot of my own money. <laughs> um, but it was fun. You know, the first year that I had like discovered the sale, I didn't like know that it was a thing. Um, and I just stumbled upon stuff and bought random stuff. Then last year, I went kind of crazy. Like I was calculating everything and I was trying to come up with who likes this and who likes that and blah, blah, blah. And um, I was able to go back a couple times and get stuff where I will not be doing that. We are done. <laughs> um, and this year, like I said, since it was all gift cards and I didn't, I felt like since it was Christmas gift and birthday that, um, like it was meant for me to be for me. So um, that's why I said I just bought a bunch of stuff that really spoke to me and I really loved. So please let me know if you have any suggestions, if you've tried any patterns for um, like six weight yarn for wearables, um, because that is something I do need to figure out with some of these because I would like to do that. Um, or if you have any other tips for any of the other yarns that I got, I would also love to know. I've been avoiding watching these videos because I thought that I wasn't going to make it to a store and so I didn't want it to like fuel the fire of I don't know envy I guess probably so um I don't know what a lot of you guys bought <laughs> um I like I said I saw a couple um but I did not watch I watched I just kept scrolling kept scrolling so I know in 
I think June is usually when Joanne has their big yarn clearance and that will probably be the next time you see any hauls from me um, if I even do that because I'm realizing now it's almost April and that means June's only two months away so my might not have one then um, but do remember too that um, in traditionally in September Hobby Lobby has their dye lot sale so I don't know you know normally it's June for the annual clearance August for dye lot so I don't know if since this was sped up by three months if the dye lot sale is going to be sped up by three months as well I probably should have talked to the manager about that, but she might not have known or might not have told me anyway. I enjoyed sharing this with you. Like I said, this is a way bigger haul than I am used to. Um, this isn't like a norm for my channel. So if this is the first time you're seeing me, I definitely want to say thank you for watching and definitely thank you for sticking around this long. Um, but don't expect a ton of these. Um, I am definitely a budget yarn type of gal and that's one of the reasons that I do love this sale and try to take advantage of it so much um, because I do want a bargain. So um, would you be interested in seeing me try to organize this? Let me know. I don't know. I don't know if I'd get too frustrated. I'm not an organizationally um, adept person. So I don't know if that's something I'll even attempt. But if it is something you'd be interested in, let me know. And um, there will be a video right up here that YouTube thinks that you would love to watch. And I will have a little button right over here where um, if you aren't subscribed and you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and click that button. But I just want to say thank you for talking yarn with me. Bye guys.